video is dedicated to Thomas Shirtliff, who was kind enough to support my latest Kickstarter project. Thank you so much for your help. So what I'm going to be talking about in this video is the rebalancing of the hand that needs to happen before any shift that goes from one finger to another. Okay, so if you are shifting but staying on the same finger, this is not an issue. But if we're changing fingers, we need to figure out how we're going to get from, say, a fourth finger that is feeling centered and balanced and relaxed over that finger to perhaps a first finger that is feeling centered and balanced over that finger, okay, and when that transition happens. So if we wait until we arrive at the new position to rebalance the hand, we tend to end up with sort of a last minute smackdown, something along the lines of, right, because we have to suddenly get to first finger. Preferably, what we'd like to do is before we've even shifted, we're going to transfer our weight to first finger, then shift and it will slide right into place. Okay? So if, let's say, I were doing the opposite, if I'm here on first finger, feeling very, very balanced and centered, and I need to go back to four, before I shift, I'm going to rebalance, then shift back, and ta-da, fourth finger just slides right into place. Otherwise, what happens, I'll shift on first, I'll shift on first, and plop. Right? Um, so the plop is something we generally try to avoid because it detracts from the smoothness of our shifts. Now, this would go for any um, transition between any two fingers. So, for example, if I'm on first finger, I need to shift up to third, and to rebounce to third, ta-da, there it's ready to go. Okay? And what you're watching me do right here is a little on the exaggerated side, okay? So, it's probably, you're not going to see quite such a blatant change in the visual, but it's definitely a feeling in your arm that you will feel, and a very important feeling. Okay, so it may be a little more subtle, um, but that doesn't make it any less important. So the way to practice this, pretty much um, as far as I have figured out, the best way to do this is just simply to take a shift out of context and slow it down to examine how and when you are changing your balance. So for example, a shift that comes to mind uh, for me, where this is definitely an issue, is in Gavat and C minor, we have this passage. <laughs> We had both the shift up going from fourth finger to first finger and the shift coming back down going from first finger to fourth finger. Okay? So here's how I practice it. Play the first three notes. Stop. Okay, now I'm feeling balanced on four. Now what I'm going to do, transfer my weight back, shift up, then keep going. Same thing here. Stop. Rebalance. Shift back. Now if you do that a whole bunch of times, Rebalance, shift, rebalance, shift. Little by little, this rebalancing can become um, sort of more gradual, I guess. So as I'm playing along, I'm already rebalancing, right? Here I go, I'm already thinking about rebalancing. Okay, so I can get rid, obviously, of that pause. We don't need the big pause in there. But for our first step, I would definitely suggest taking the time to stop, rebalance, then move. Stop, rebalance, then move. Okay, so find the shifts in your playing where you're going from one finger to another finger, and perhaps the ones that don't sound so smooth, and question whether um, the lack of smoothness could be an issue of balance of the hand. Okay, because really quite often it is. Right? And that feeling of shifting when your fingers just slide into place is such a nice feeling. Um, so I want to make sure you have the opportunity to experience that, and it's all about balance. Right? Thank you so much.